I think it's the toughest thing I have to do when I'm going to meet relatives of some of our great, great heroes that have fallen. I, I think it might be the toughest thing I have to do as president. We're killing ISIS for Russia, for Iran, for Syria, for Iraq, for a lot of other places. At some point, you want to bring our people back home. I've been talking about this since the campaign. But we've done a very, we're down to 99%. We have control of 99%. And we're hitting the rest of it very, very powerfully over the last three weeks. We had a very good meeting yesterday with North Korea. That was an incredible meeting. It lasted almost two hours. And we've agreed to meet sometime probably the end of February. Uh, we've picked a country, but we'll be announcing it in the future. Uh, Kim Jong-un is looking very forward to it, and so am I. We've made a lot of progress that has not been reported by the media, but we have made a lot of progress as far as uh, denuclearization is concerned. And we're talking about a lot of different things, but we've made tremendous progress that has not been reported, unfortunately, but it will be. Uh, things are going very well with North Korea. I hope that uh, Speaker Pelosi can come along and realize what everybody knows. I mean, no matter who it is, they know that walls work, and we need walls. And whether it's personal or not, it's not personal for me. Uh, she's being controlled by the radical left, which is a problem. And, you know, she's under total control of the radical left. I think that's a very bad thing for her. I think it's a very bad thing for the Democrats. I thought that the BuzzFeed piece, and maybe equally as bad, the coverage of the BuzzFeed phony story. It was a total phony story. And I appreciate the special counsel coming out with a statement last night. I think it was very appropriate that they did so. I very much appreciate that.